Welcome to Oxygen Not Included, and we have the Space Out DLC here, and that's what we'll be playing. So, I've been hearing quite a lot about this game, and to be honest, I've been playing, I, I like to play this on my downtime, and this is the first time in age that I'll uh, actually play it, so I need to remind myself of a lot of things, and I also need to learn to do a lot of things, because I'm no expert. I know how to potentially survive the, the first few cycles of the game, but that's it. Like, I, I don't know um, all those patterns to things to do to auto, to be autosufficient or generate energy for the own thing to, to work. I don't know if anything like that. So, we'll figure that out. This would be a very chill game. And so, what I would do, I think I'll go with the no sweat option because we go easy, we take it slow and we, we learn things along the way. That's the main goal in here. Now, I don't know what is the difference in his story traits and word traits. And um, well, looks like their minds are a bit blank and dream free, but under the right conditions, things could be different. Interesting. I'll keep things as they are. I'll probably change. Um, let me see. Do we have any other options? We have these planets in here that we can choose from. I want to select. The more this one the, the first one which is basically no traits at all but also doesn't give us like any uh issues i want to make sure that we we have all of that but let's select this one i just randomly re-roll the word seed here and we got basically these slime molds and jewels in the as a word trait and then we have some asteroids we have some story traits and we'll go with that and without further ado let's jump in so if you don't know what oxygen not included is it's basically we start on a word well and oxygen is not included so one of your first goals is to provide a way to generate oxygen provide a place for them to sleep uh, some way for them to eat and survive and then you start building this whole world and then you can build rockets and go to other planets asteroids and things like that now these are the duplicates or dupes and we will select uh, three of those in here i will reroll a few of those so we have things like athletics which give us um, faster duplicates, strength, that can carry more things, that can... Uh, it, it's faster at doing some other things. But we also have to look at the traits in here, because some of them, like this one, can do agriculture, so if it has any points for agriculture, that will be eliminated by the being a plant murderer. And <laughs> so things like that, we have to be uh, really careful. So let me reroll some of those and see what we get. And there we are. So we have Bubbles, uh, which has nine in operating um, machinery, machinery. And it gains one morale when learning operating skills. Also germ resistant. We have Tej, which is one of our patrons. So welcome to the colony with nine excavation and increased construction. Although less germ resistance. Uh, and Nicola, which has 8 strength and tidying um, with increased cuisine and decreased food morale bonus. Uh, increased bladder uh, as a small bladder. Uh, so, bladder, yeah, that bladder increase. Uh, it, it feels faster, so that's, that's, that's it. Uh, in terms of naming the colony, we can name it um, Horde, I think. We, we're looking at that name in other place, so let's use it in here. And there we go. Welcome. 
The asteroid called home has collided with an anomalous planet decimating our colony. Rebuilding it is of the utmost importance. I've detected a new cluster of material-rich planetoids in nearby space. If I can guide the duplicants through the perils of space, we could build a colony even bigger and better than before. Let's get things going. And I'll pause things and I won't look at this and we will do things the way I like to do them. So we basically have our printing pod. This will, this will be where we bring new duplicants. This is where we can bring new uh, items. And each of these squares, they are made of something. For example, sandstone or algae or dirt or even like oxide. Oxide produces oxygen, by the way. So in here, we are actually OK. We have one here, another one here, a cluster there. But over time, we will consume itself and stop existing. We have some water in there. We have some water in here, which is fantastic. Uh, it's a good way to start. And as you can see, the planet is big. So <laughs> we will start working on this. First thing that I'll ask them to do is open a big space over here. And potentially over there as well. Obviously, I will try to keep them as safe as possible and not dig where they shouldn't dig it but i think i'll open this up and then we can put a stair in there that they can go uh, down somewhere else we also have some nice plants in here we have a shine bug that will provide some bonuses for us but this is potentially how we start and that they are working ahead in digging all this stuff so they'll start doing that and they will uh, help us get somewhere. So in terms of this, I don't remember. I had like a specific size that I would like to do this. I think I would do eight on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I usually do, I will keep this as uh, some gaps in here. Actually, if I do 8, I will go with 9 this time. Let's see how that goes. And then we have a gap of... Is that 3? I, I believe that's 3. And then we do more uh, like this. So here we have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I might do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this will give us an, a starting uh, structure in there and then just make my life easier to just follow the same uh, the same heights everywhere else. So in here, always leaving like four uh, as a gap in there. That is usually more than enough. I can see that we have plenty of sand. Sand is just to filter the air, so that is pretty good to have. And I believe I can start looking into things like this. Yeah, potentially that's where I'll, I'll start doing that. And I'll do that in the middle. They can jump. So this will be more than enough for them. And they can build that as well. We need to take a look at, like, we have to make sure that the temperature is nice. This is a lot hotter or... Yeah, we have like 44 degrees, 40, 44 over here. We have 62 degrees. Yeah, oh man, don't go there. Um, at the top there is kind of all right. So what I'm thinking is that we put some sort of bedding for them over here. They, they need to sleep. So we can take a look at furniture. We have three. Um, dupes in there and i will do this over here i'll do one extra in there just in case we get someone else and then i will start digging this up as well i mentioned we do four let's do four and i could go and oh i think i'll leave this open this is the vacuum so this means that you Look the oxygen into that space as well, so we have less um, oxygen in here. 
which at the moment we have quite uh, quite a lot so that should be good one of we have this area that we will cover we have a small battery in here interesting i'm just thinking where would be the best place for us to actually put our water on because we need like somewhere we have polluted water in there so we can um see some things in there already i'll bring this all the way into there this is telling me that we now need some uh, hard digging skills over there so we'll, we'll work on that we can change priority of things as well and i might change priority on this these things should be what we need to do because then they can actually uh easily so we don't have a toilet yet so that's what it tells me and i believe we can let me see can have a sink but then we need water we don't have that yet our house will be here and then well what i'm thinking this is a dangerous place because we do have clean water in there but i'll i'll go with that i'll make sure that we have a space for our sink over there and i'll do three of those so i'll increase priority for this a little bit and then the next priority will be this and then what i'll do is basically for places like this where you have like to make sure that polluted water doesn't get out of there i do one tile like this and a door over there later on or here i think we can i think should be honest just remembering what i usually do i put this everywhere like this so water really doesn't go through anywhere so there we go we have a place to sleep now toilet will be next and ooh, what i think we need to do here this will collapse if you see that you have these cracks in there although this one is holding i could try and remove this but we don't need to we have enough space in here what we actually need there is basically something do is bring this stair down here i want to bring this down a little bit further and maybe we look at temperature in here this is the area that's pretty hot isn't it we might have like a volcano or something like that and we got an achievement oh what is that bed and bath have at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicant all right job done in there so this is good i will then make sure that we bring this down a little bit i won't take this one because that'll be too close there i want to avoid any issues and we could bring like both of the water down somewhere here in the middle and they'll meet somewhere but then we need to go exploring so what i'll do I'll bring this stair all the way over there. We'll get there. Now we have all the outhouses. And they'll build everything else that we have in here. We definitely need to do this one. Because if they build this, they won't be able to get to their beds. But at the moment, we are looking at the schedule. And we are here, which is downtime for them. After that, they will, this is the time where they will go and eat. By the way, we have um, this amount of food, so 17,000 calories. And after that, they will go to sleep and then they will um, go for bath time. We don't have a way for them to bath yet. And then they will work. So we can create like different schedules and change some dupes. They will prefer uh, working at night and you have to keep that in mind just to make sure that you you do the right thing there and while they do that i will keep making uh or adding things in place to make sure that we keep growing so 
we go in here we can cultivate these plants as well by the way that is also something that we can do i'll open up this area and i won't open all the way in there yet but we'll keep things um going going in that direction that's what we are doing now we have a lot of things that we can do here we can uh well we should start working on the water very soon so maybe what we do is after they do that one we open this up and then we can start working on the water that means that i can lower this up so this is a fertilizer which is pretty good we have a critter in here these ones would be nice they won't do anything to us and we can even uh, create them for for food and all that sort of stuff which we'll do eventually but not at the moment i'll have to control germs as well uh, i show you temperature we don't have anything that's powered at the moment uh only gases that we have is basically oxygen and some carbon dioxide in here we have this which is a material overlay so you can find things a little bit easier in the map you have the light overlay uh, plumbing we don't have any plan uh any pipes ventilation no pipes as well decoration germs which we uh, it's awful at the moment i should take care of that uh farming rooms we can get some rooms going on in here and radiation so this is all that we have and we will make sure that we get this properly done what i want to also do in here and uh, this would be really well spaced i believe i want to bring this over here as a protective wall especially because we will have um well this area will be open and they are like, like as you can see they can breathe in there they are holding their breath they when this goes down a little bit they'll go up breathe back and come back to work but i love how they <laughs> that the faces that they make there we go they'll go up there breathe a little bit and the water is starting to go down which then tells me that i can do this right and then we still prioritize this i think this is still our main priority in there i was potentially can remove this one as well but what we that what these allow us to do is to actually get water from here so put in there and where are they going yeah they are killing all the germs from there there we go love to see that they are making their duties over there and also speed things up so they can build things a little bit faster and get this all going a little bit better i think yeah after they do that this is next so they can get water and we can oh sneezing and we can at least get this uh, all sorted what i can try to do is get one in here as well i don't know if they'll be able to reach that but i'll try and if they can then they might be yeah oh no this happened what i didn't want to all right well, i guess yeah they'll build this this will be in there and what will happen is that we can actually open this up a little bit further so no big deal in there how many tiles we have in here we have three six nine ten so that'll be going a lot longer than that but for now this is more than enough there they will have other things to do they have a way to get water so yeah it's starting to take shape our colony in here in oxygen not included now we still need to uh, get oxygen uh, and we still need to uh, have a food source we don't have either so we will work that very very soon 
and I just noticed that this is opening up as well. So I might do this over here, build a ladder in there so they can reach at that area. And I might even close this now. We don't need that anymore. And then we dig a little bit further just to just to start getting like something nicer in here. And I might do some doors so we start getting like a restroom or a bedroom over there. And this is all starting to really take shape. That's the, the goal there. And for now, I think this is all that we have. And while they sleep peacefully, we are leaving things here. So I really hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, again, I'm no expert. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, or if you want to see me building something in particular, let me know in the comments. I will definitely take a look at that and uh, do my best to actually uh, follow your suggestions so if you want to as well uh, you can leave the comments in the comment section and or you can join our discord server and make sure that you have a chat with us over there where we can discuss some new ideas but for now thank you very much and maybe you consider enjoy uh, consider watching <laughs> the video on your screen because you enjoy it uh, I'm pretty sure so thank you and bye-bye.